Welcome to Our Jewish Roots. From the beginning, our Creator revealed His will to the common man. Individuals who listened to His call and responded in obedience. The Lord faithfully intervenes with His divine deliverance. I don't know if you've ever been in a corner. I have. I've never been exiled, as in removed from an ancestral homeland. And if you think for a moment, most people never travel far. Here they're over 500 miles away from the place of origin, uprooted from ancestral lands. They were really in a bad way, thus in a corner. They needed help. And the question was, is there deliverance? The question is, is God a deliverer? And there was a man who in no uncertain terms said yes. He saw how they were going to get out of a corner and he envisioned a way that they could go on a quest for the preferred future. Prophecy comes different ways. The message of deliverance comes on more than one cart I mentioned that Isaiah was more just rolling out the prophetic word. Ezekiel had a prophetic word, but he wasn't simply a navi, which means to, in effect, bubble forth or bring it forth. He was a roe, he was a seer, he was a visionary. This person envisions himself placed down in the middle of a valley, one that was full of bones scattered all about. The picture that you saw before I started opening my mouth was so good, I actually regret that I have to talk afterward. It is so dramatic. A picture tells a thousand words, and there you see uh, bones coming back to life. They're recycled, they're reinvigorated, they take on flesh and spirit. They come alive, and then they're nationalized too. They become an army. Now, I know people take issue with that because they don't like to see that in religion, but it's in the book. I'm interested in the 47th chapter here. I want to talk about the essence of life. Nahar Hachayim in Hebrew, a river of life. It goes right back to Gan Eden, to paradise. Uh, we're told here in the 47th chapter, we're told this prophet of the Galut, this exiled prophet envisions Israel reconstituted as a nation state, and then he sees the temple rebuilt therein. He not only envisions that, he sees water coming from the house. He says, then he brought me back to the door of the house in 47.1, and water was flowing out from underneath the threshold. This isn't your garden variety, you know, the plumbing breaks the bathroom and the water's coming out from underneath the door. This is something else. There's a picture here that develops in the literature where it's God's restored house. From there comes water to bring new life to the dry lands. It says it explicitly. I want you to know that the flat water can be turned to wine. It needs energized. This prophet Ezekiel sees the source, God's grace and mercy coming to a ruined people, filling them with the Spirit and filling them with new life. That's not a story from yesterday's pages. That's a story for the ages. It's all about the deliverance that's made available to moderns, women and men like me and you. Divine Deliverance.